today I'd like to tie for you the classic dry fly, the Clyde. The hook I have in the vise is a size 12. This is a two extra long dry fly hook. And the thread I'm going to use is Vivas 14 Op. This is black. I'm going to start by laying down a base of thread. I'm holding my thread at a 45 degree. And quickly lay down a base one next to the other holding that thread at that position and we're going to stop just about I'm gonna back that up just a little bit right at the point of the hook first material we're going to put on is flat gold tinsel. This is a number 16. This is silver on one side and gold on the other. And we're going to tie it in with the gold side to the shank of the hook. We're going to wrap that in and we're going to wind this back this is a tag we're going to wind it back and now we're looking at the gold side make sure you keep it tight and then forward the tag is an optional Now we're going to remove the excess and now I'm going to take two strands of peacock curl I'm going to trim off the really fine tips I'm going to tie them in by the tip and let that peacock curl extend the whole length of the shaft We're going to tie that in and bring that thread back. There we go. And just bring that forward. And we're doing this to keep a level body. And then I'll bring it back. Now I'm going to tie in a red brown hackle. This is a Coachman Brown. I'm going to tie that right in. Let me shorten that just a bit. We're going to tie that in with the concave side to the shaft and we're going to leave a little bit of the crew cut exposed. So when we get that first wrap the barbels don't shoot off to the back. And yeah, we're going to move that up. Before I begin wrapping, I'm going to use the super glue and I'm going to put a drop of super glue right on the area where the peacock curl is going to be wrapped. I'm going to take the peacock curl and I'm going to make a nice fat peacock section to come forward and I'm going to wrap back Yeah, we're going to tie that off.
a couple of wraps right in front and break them off. I'm going to wind the hackle and there we go with that leaving that sp space we have a first wrap at a 90 degree and we're going to palmer this we're gonna make them pretty close together we want to be able to see the peacock curl in between there we go that's pretty nice and we get to the end of the peacock curl and we're going to tight that off I'm gonna hold that tackle back a couple wraps right in back and then we can break off the excess for the middle third of the fly we're going to use red floss and we're going to tie them in and bring it back up to the peacock and hackle make a nice smooth body in between and we're going to wrap that middle third of the fly and you want your floss to lay flat And tie it off, cross it over, wrap in front, and trim away the excess. For the front one third, we're going to put our peacock hurl in, tie it in by the tip. And secure everything. I'm going to take my super glue once again. Touch off the excess. I'm going to take my Coachman Brown hackle. I'm going to tie that in. Leaving that small amount of crew cut section you know I'm going to wrap the peacock curl once again this is obviously a variation on the royal coachman no wing combination of the Royal Coachman and the fore and aft. I'm going to tie that in. Put a couple of wraps in front and just break them off. Now I can take the hackle and wind that and that first wrap is sticking up at the 90 degree then we're going to make tight palmer and we reach the top and we're going to tie that off A couple wraps in front get it tight in there and you can break off the hackle tip and tidy up that head once again take the 
whip finisher. Tighten it down. And remove the thread. And here we have the classic dry fly, the Clyde. I hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends, leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.